He's three times the nasty. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Star Toys Commander. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Just a big S T O one. You also have what looks like um, their initial like design sketches, which is pretty cool. I dig that. Commander G slash A S T O one on this side. Commander on this side. Commander on the top. Star Toys on the bottom. Hey, look over here. Star Toys on the back of the box. Yes, some little schematic -y images, cautions, all that stuff, and that's basically it for the packaging. Then, moving right along, here we have Commander, and this is Star Toys Take on a Masterpiece Scaled Blitzwing. And here he is, in his robot mode, he is packed in robot mode. And he looks delicious, absolutely delicious, just nice and cartoony. I do quite dig it, but let's get in close here so we can take a look. Not at his abs, but at his noggin. Hey, there's a noggin. Nice blitzwingy head sculpt, I think they did a pretty good job here. Nice yellow, purple, red for the visor. Looks quite good. Got that yellow and red there on the chest. He had that slightly darker shade of purple here on the chest as well, which is cartoon accurate. Overall, looks good. And you know, lots of lots of flat surfaces, not a whole lot of surface detail, because again, they're trying to keep it, you know, keep it cartoony and have it match with your current MPs. Which, you know, that, that bugs some people, but me personally, I have no problem with it whatsoever. You have the little fins here. If you want to, you can rotate these up if you don't like them. Totally flip them up, but again, if you want it to be cartoon accurate, they should be flipped down. But as always, it's yours. Just play it however you wish. Got some nice heel spurs here going on. And moving up back. You do have a bit of a backpack going on here. You got the treads back here. They tried to make this part of the backpack look at least cartoony, uh, but, you know, they couldn't hide away the treads. But... Overall, though, I think they did a good job of trying to compact everything as much as possible. Now, as far as articulation goes, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you do have some wiggly waggly. You can look all the way up. You have a secondary joint here. allows the head to go all the way up, so you can do total squirrel. You can also get that nice little flying pose if you want to. Head can look down. Head can do a full 360 arms. They can rotate, but the shoulder pads eventually will get in the way. You can move the shoulder pads out of the way. You can get up about that far, but then the backpack's going to get in the way. So you only have so much range of movement, but really as much as you need. Um, you have outward movements. You have bicep rotation. You have a double-jointed elbow, so nice full range of movement there. As far as the hands go, you do have wrist rotation. You also have a joint that allows it to move uh, outward and inward. Not so much inward, but you get a little bit outward. Um, the hands are articulated. You got a ball joint there at the base of the thumb and a hinge here. And each finger is just on a hinge at the base and a hinge right there. So you have some nice posable fingies. You do have waist rotation. You also got an ab crunch in there, which is quite nice. You just collapse that back down. Now as far as the legs go, you have this whole panel here. You can move out of the way, which is eh, not the best. But... It allows you to bring the legs up that far, back that far, with these side skirts. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation, and you have nice double jointed knees. So you have good range of movements there on the knees, and as far as the feet, um, they can move up a little bit, move down a little bit. The toes can move up a little bit on their own. Heels can move down, and you have a lot of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his sword, just cast in purple with that bit of yellow there in the middle of the blade. Again, keeping it simple, cartoony, as well as his blaster, which again, not much to it. Keeping it simple, keeping it cartoony, just done in purple, but looks good. And it is the typical tab in the slot of the palm method of weapon holding. It does tab in quite snugly. Just tab those in, like so, and you can pew pew hack hack, pew pew poke poke, and all of that good stuff right there. 
Now, as far as storage for the weapons go, it doesn't seem like there's any storage for the weapons in any of the modes, other than him holding them in his hands <laughs> in robot mode, but, you know, it is what it is. For me personally, storage is appreciated, but not a necessity, but as always, to each their own. And we do have noggin options. We have a swappable face, and to swap the face, you just want to bring his uh, head up. You can use that second joint there and just get up under his chin and just pop his face off. And you just pop the new one on, and now he is slightly open-mouthed Blitzwing. Uh. So there you have that, and now for comparison! Here he is with the Legacy Blitzwing, and this is the only comparison we're going to do with Legacy Blitzwing, because, I mean, you know, it's a mainline toy, we know how this is going to work, you know. It's smaller, duh, but anyway, there you have that. With the only other masterpiece scale Blitzwing that I own, the uh, DX9 version, so you can see how that works out, and this one has definitely been hitting the gym more than that one, you know, but <laughs> there you have that. And of course, the how it started, how it's going comparison with G1 Blitzwing, because he's precious, oh, so precious. And here he is with the uh, fans' toys, Astro Train. And with the KFC Octane. We need somebody to make us a new Octane, but I mean, it still, you know, it still looks pretty good. And last but certainly not least, with Masterpiece Megatron. So, there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode, and I personally think it looks great, but let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring the arms forward, we're going to rotate the arm in, we're going to open up this panel right here, flip it up and over, and then just flip the hand in, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And once that's done, we're going to start working on his legs. So what you want to do here is you want to just kind of pull out this section of this panel because it's tabbed into the side. And then you can pop all this up, straighten this out. You want to undo this little panel here because this locks in this leg joint. So you can then bring this up and this little black panel here, you want to collapse that in then just collapse the leg the rest of the way up. So now that we've done that, we want to take the foot just swing it all the way out. We're gonna flip in the heel. We can then rotate the foot all the way around. This little purple panel here, just bring that under like so. This section you wanna bring down, rotate the toe, bring that down to connect the two, flip that in, and there you have the thruster for the jet, and you're just going to leave this flap open for now, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And once you have both sides done, just bring them together. You can bring these little panels back up. Again, just leave these hanging out. And there you have the uh, back of the jet mode pretty much done. And then you're going to take the crotch plate here, just raise this up, and you kind of angle this forward a little bit so you can rotate this entire assembly 180. Then just close that back up. And all of that is now in position. So now we're going to start working up here. So you want to take the shoulder pads, just slide them in a little bit so you can bring it up, slide it in, and bring that up. You have these panels here on the shoulders. Just bring those up and untap that and bring it up. You're going to come back here to the backpack. You're going to take the tread sections here and just pull them out and they will undo themselves. Pull it out, it'll undo itself. And then you can take the uh, tank turret here little section here that kind of clips in, so just give it a tug, and all that will undo itself. You can just bring that up and over his head, so that way that gets out of the way. And then you want to just untab the shoulder right under here, his little post. So untab it, and you can just flip that up, and untab that, and flip that up, and now we can start working on all this. So now what's going to happen is you're going to take this section here, just untab it. You're going to pull this section of the wing straight out, and then you can swing it in, tab it in there, to straighten the wing out. And make sure you push that back in. This little panel here, you can just rock down like so, or does it stay up? I forget. We'll, we'll, just, we'll deal with that later. But take that and bring it down, get it out of your way. Um, you want to take this entire section here with the treads. This bit is on a slider here, so extend this all the way out, like so. Take the section here, rotate it, bring it out to the side, so you can then take the arm and bring this up and over to the other side. 
and then bring the arm itself down so everything is sitting at 90 degree angles. And you can take this and bring it back up so those treads are facing you. So what you're going to do with all this here is you're going to bring this hinge down so this is sitting like an L, just like that. You want to flip out this little tab here, right there. And now what you're going to do is you're going to swing all this in on this hinge here. Just swing it up and there's a little slot right there that will receive that tab. That will just drop into place right there like that. This section of the tread is spring loaded. You just pull this up and this section right here, you want to make sure that this section is also on a slider. So slide it over so that we have full access of that hinge. Slide over and then you just kind of want to take it, just swing it in and swing it under and that will just sit there like that. Once that is done, you can take this section, bring it up, it will tab in right in here. And you also have a little tab slot connection right up in here as well. So just tab that in, there you go. Bring that panel down so all that lines up. And once you have done that, this whole section here will collapse, like so. And then we just need to seat it in place. So we're gonna straighten out this hinge here. So just bring this all up and then just flatten it all out. And then it will just tab into the side right there. And there you have that side all done. And second verse, guess what, is just like the first. And Blitzwing must have had a Red Bull because now he has wings. Next, we're gonna take this whole chest assembly and rotate it 180. So now all the purple is up top, and now we can start working on all this. So what we're gonna do here, and by the way, I love that we can use the uh, turret as a kickstand, that's great, but what we're gonna do here is we're going to take these chest sections, these chest panels here, just untab them, and you can just swing them down, and just untab that chest section, and swing it down, then we can just undo the neck, and we're going to open all of this up, like that, and then we can open up his belly panel, open this up, and fold all this out, rotate it 180, there's a little panel right in here as well that we need to flip up, so just get that flipped up, like so, and just leave that hanging out there for now, and we want to take this entire cockpit section here and just rotate it up, like so, got the tip of the nose cone here, just bring it out and rotate, Bring it out and rotate. Take this little windshield section here, just bring that up. It helps if you bring the landing gear down because it gives you the clearance. Take the two halves and bring them together and merge. Like so. Then just bring this down. I'll just tab in right in there, like so. You can leave that landing gear there for now. And now what we can do is we can Take his head, we're going to turn it sideways, and then rotate this entire panel and everything around. And his head will just tab in right there. We have these panels here on either side that we're going to flip out, and flip out. And now we're gonna close all this up. So what's gonna happen here is you have to kind of angle these back so they clear this little hinged section. So then close this up, make sure everything clears, and that's why we leave this we leave the section open so we can get our finger back here and just kind of get these panels back into place as we are closing this up, and then they will just tab in whoop, right there, like so. Once that's done, take these sections and just flip them back. We'll just tuck right in, right there, like so. Then we can take this panel here close this up. There are little tabs on either side of this panel. You just want to just pop the one side in and then you can just pop the other side in and voila. And the last thing to do is get this turret in place. So what we're going to do is just split this open like that. Just open this up. The cannon itself will just rotate around and then just tuck it in and close all this back up. And now we're just going to drop all of this back down here, just make sure everything is flattened out as much as you can get it. And you have tabs that will go into these slots right here. So just fold these in and if you have everything right, they should just drop right in like so. Make sure everything is straightened out. You can flip up these landing gear here on the back. And there you go. There you have Blitzwing in his jet. Bye. Not a bad spin. Not a bad spin for the Blitzy boy. But there he is in his jet mode.
And as you can see, it's a good-looking jump mode, in my opinion, anyway. I think they did a pretty dang good job with this, all things considered. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see the nose cone there, done in, the, uh, done in an off-white. You got the cockpit done in a nice transclearant blue. You got some nice little panel lining going on throughout. You got that bit of gray there. You got the yellow and red on the tail fins. You even got some little missiles. Right under there. Overall, not too bad. You got the thrusters back here. I believe these sections are diecast. But overall, not too bad. I like how they uh, how they hid away the tank turrets. Again, they have some clever engineering going on there, and it's again not the most aerodynamic thing in the world, but I think it handles it. Everything is as good as it can, really. Again, Blitzwing's jet mode was never the most elegant thing anyway, so I think this actually replicates it pretty well. They do have rolling landing gear, so we can roll as flying things should. Hooray for flying, rolling things. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the Masterpiece Seeker mold. So you can see how that works out. Whoosh. Here he is with the DX9 version, and as you can see, the DX9 version is way, way bigger. Whoosh! And here he is with G1 Blitzwing, because precious, oh, so precious. And as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't seem like the weapons actually store anywhere, not that I have seen anyway. Just let it go. Storage! Hooray! Hooray for storage. I don't know. But... That is basically it for the jet mode, so let's get down to transformation again, shall we? Let's, oh god. Let's just, let's get to tank mode. So the first thing we're going to do is undo the turret, so just open this up. Just get that out of our way. You flip in those uh, landing gear on either side. You want to take these wing sections here and untab them and just bring them up. You have to untap it anyway because you need to get this up and unplugged. So bring that up, get that out of the way, and again, just undo the other side and just bring those up. You're going to rotate this panel 180, flip this little section in, flip this panel in, and leave that there for now. What you're going to do next is we have to basically get all this compacted back up, bring these little side panels down and just split all of this open. Take these panels, push these back in, and what's going to happen here is you're going to undo the cockpit here, split this open, bring these sections out to the sides, and take the right tip of the nose, bring it in, rotate it, fold it all the way in, and Rotate it, and bring that in, bring this section all the way down. And this part is a little tricky. Now I've seen, first of all, this figure doesn't come with instructions. It comes with a QR code that sends you to a video that I I don't like watching because it's just, it's not the most helpful, but um, I've watched other videos and I've seen this part done multiple ways, so I'm not entirely sure the correct orientation of how his head is supposed to go in tank mode, but it's the way that it seems like it works the best, but it causes um, some uh, some issues as far as, you know, clearance goes, but I found that if you take the head and just kind of undo this hinge so you can just kind of angle it in like that, then you can flip all this in, also close up the uh, landing gear. So flip all this in, just kind of get it in part way, and then you can kind of close all this up, and then everything should just kind of pop into place, like that. And then you can close this up, and everything there just kind of sits as flush as it can get. And that seems to me to be the correct way. Um, other people have the head just facing forward or facing back, but then this panel doesn't sit, you know, as close as it's supposed to. So again, I don't know. I've seen people do it different ways, so I'm not sure what the official way is. But once you've done that, you can take this entire chest assembly, turret and all, and then rotate it 180. And you got that done. And then you can just take these, swing these back around. And this is where these will live in tank mode.
And now to work on this back section here, we're going to split the legs. You're going to take the thrusters and just flip them in, flip them in. And you're going to take this top panel here, fold that in, and just bring that down. A little tab slot connection right there. Just drop it right in, bring that down, and drop that into place. Now we can connect the legs back together. These sail fins, they just have a tab right here that's just going to drop right onto, right there. And the other side will just drop right in. And once that is done, we need to undo his crotch so we can rotate the legs back around. Close that back up, like so, and that is done. So now to work on these sections here. So first thing we're going to do is just pull out this wing tip. You want to rotate this 180, swing it in, and just tab it in right there. You can just push it in so everything is locked into place. And you can undo all of this. Remember, you have a little tab slot connection right in there. So just kind of just pull, pull it out at an angle and bring that down. You have to remove this missile tip right here. You just undo that. This is the only parts forming we have to do. What? Parts form? Shh. It's okay. That's all you have to do. Just pop that out. Now you're going to take this section here and you're going to unfold this completely. So this results in a nice flat surface there. So that's how you want that looking. So now we need to open this up and swing this section out. And then we're going to open all of this up, straighten all this out, and then take this, rotate it, bring it to the side because now we have to take this arm and swing it back over to the other side, basically where it was in robot mode. And again, just make sure all that is sitting at right angles. So now, we're going to rotate this section so the treads are now facing this way. They're on the same side as the arm. So now what's going to happen here is we're going to bend this down on this hinge right here. So it looks like that. And then rock this section up and then slide it up on that slider. And it's going to look like that. So now we're just going to take this. This is going to tuck right up over the arm. So just swing all that in, and that will tuck itself into place right there, like that. So once that is done, we can take all of this and just flatten it all back out, and that will tab into the side right here, like so. Make sure that is sitting right there like that, and then we're gonna take the uh, the missile tip and it'll tab in right here, and that's where we'll store in tank mode. And then you're gonna take the suction, bring it back, it'll just tab in right there at two points. You can find those two points. Come here, two points. Come here, two points. Both of you, both of you points. There we go, just tab in right there. You take this panel, just rock it down, and then we're gonna take this assembly here, Untab it, swing it back. There's a little tab here that you have to clear. Just kind of pull it up a little bit, and you can see it'll drop right into a notch right in there. And also this tab right there. Just bring that down. It'll drop into a slot right there. Pull that up. There's a little tab slot connection there, but basically once you get this tab in place, that just kind of drops itself into place right there. And last thing we need to do is take this section and just swing it over, pop it in. Let's give it a good push. It'll just pop itself right in. And there you have that side all done. And the second verse, guess what? Just like the first. And there is both sides done. And now we are at the home stretch. We just gotta get the turret into place. So we just want to split this, open it up completely. You wanna take these sections here, just kind of rotate them out and then bring them out. Just kind of rotate them and swing them out. Then you're gonna swing this entire assembly around and then swing this assembly around. You can flip that cannon back up. And now close all of this back up and just give it a good squeeze. And then these side sections here, well, just drop down and tab into place on your side. Drop that down and snap that into place. So what's gonna happen here is you have, again, this section has little tabs that have to go into either side of these purple sections here. So again, the best way is just kind of like pull this out and just kind of pop one side in. And then once you do that, you can kind of pop the other side in like that. 
And this may undo itself. That's okay, just pop it all right back in where it was. Like so. And once that is done, this section here also has little tabs that are going to go underneath these panels here. And all you have to do is just give it a good push down. And it'll just pop itself into place. Get all that situated. And last thing we have to do is just take the cannon, extend it, and there you have Commander in his tank mode. You get a real nice spin out of the tank. But yeah, there he is in tank mode. And a great looking tank mode in my opinion. That looks really good. That all comes together really well. Very nicely, just nice and compact. Does the job. I dig it. I personally dig it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Now, granted, if it wanted to be cartoon accurate, it should have that little piece of the uh, cockpit kind of sticking out. It kind of does. You know, you have like, the shape of it there. But, you know, <laughs> again, not the end of the world. But, I, you know, it looks great regardless. It's, it all comes together very, very well. You can see the detail there in the tank treads. Again, keeping it simple. Still a little bit of extra detailing there. As you can see, these little sections here can spin, which is a nice touch. Of course, the treads themselves don't work, but nice of these little separate pieces that can spin. The overall looks good. Lots of nice detailing up here on the turrets. Back here as well. Again, just comes together really, really nicely. There is the top, and there is the bottom. Again, everything nice and compact. You got the little rolling wheels, so he can roll like tanks should roll. Hooray for rolling, sliding, drifting tanks. And for comparison, here it is again with the DX9 version, which is all kinds of chunky in its tank mode. And of course, with G1 Blitzwing, because precious, we know it's precious. Now, as far as articulation and tank mode goes, the turret can rotate, can do a full 360. The cannon itself can move up and down. One little issue I have with mine is that you can see this section doesn't tab in as flush as this one does. And it could just be a case of maybe trying to, like, you know, maybe push that rivet in a little bit more. I don't know, but that's the only real issue I have with the tank mode on my particular copy. But otherwise, looks really good. And again, uh, storage for the weapons. Yeah, <laughs> Good luck with that. I don't know. Again, doesn't seem like there's any actual storage. Again, this didn't come with instructions, so I don't know. But doesn't see, you know. See. Yay. So there you have Commander, and uh, yeah, really well done figure here, in my opinion. I think Star Toys knocked this one out of the park. The robot mode looks great. The jet mode looks really good. The tank mode looks fantastic. Um, the engineering just works really well. Um, there's a little bit of fiddle factor, nothing to a frustrating degree, just a little bit of fiddle factor, but overall fun to mess with for being a third party triple changer. I was actually amazed that this was pretty enjoyable to mess with. Just some good solid engineering here. It feels like a good solid figure as well. Everything feels solid, sturdy. Feels really good quality, and overall, I am very, very pleased with this figure. And now I am definitely looking forward to whatever Star Toys puts out in the future. Like, this this figure already made me a fan of this company, so... <laughs> there you go! Now I picked this up from TF Safari. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also get Transformers from BigBadToyStore.com, as always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Star Toys Commander. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. Come on down, Otto Bratz. Who? Oh, guess who? Uh, I don't know. But you, you don't recognize my voice? No. Wait, are you serious? It's me. It's Cup. Yeah, it, it doesn't ring a bell. But I'm a war hero. Yeah, I'd ne never heard of you. See, now that really hurts my feelings. After all I've done. Oh, I guess you didn't do enough. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Well, maybe dying in a blaze of glory will make them remember you. I can help you with that. Nah, I'll just keep working on my memoirs. Yeah, nobody's gonna read that, because nobody knows who you are. 
We just met you, oh great war hero who no one's heard of until now.